Well, there's really been uh, several quarters of, of exciting growth for our server business. You know, I'm very happy that we were able to, uh, at the press announcement or the earnings announcement this uh, this week, talk about sequential double-digit uh, quarter-on-quarter and year-on-year growth. But it really all started back uh, with the Xeon 5100, or, or codenamed Woodcrest, where we really took a leadership strong position on energy efficient performance, uh, started growing market segment share back in Blade servers and in the market overall, uh, announced the relationship with Sun, and so it's really been a, a very strong, uh, strong ride overall. Uh, we really took a strong position on the quad-core uh, Clovertown microprocessor or 5300 series. Uh, we set a strong goal and now are, are happy to hit uh, that goal of hitting a million units before our com competitors have shipped uh, shipped a single unit in the marketplace. And now we're really setting ourselves up for getting that same momentum around quad-core and the core microarchitecture as we go into the four socket and greater space. Kalen is our quad-core uh, Xeon uh, next generation architecture. Uh, it brings core microarchitecture and uh, quad-core into the Xeon MP family. This is a follow-on to uh, Tulsa and uh, very happy to report uh, for the first time that we actually began production shipments of both the processor and the chipset uh, into our OEMs beginning in the second quarter of this year. Uh, that actually represents the, the best execution we've ever had from uh, design to production of a uh, multiprocessor uh, architecture within Intel. So the, uh, the efforts we've been making around you know, really uh, product execution and operational excellence are, are taking itself into account here. Uh, we showed the architecture running at 2.66 gigahertz as long ago as, I guess, uh, right before Oracle Open World back in October of 2006. We were running real applications then, and we showed the architecture at Computex, at HP's Tech Forum, and, and other forums. So that uh, momentum and, and that early silicon success is, is already now into uh, production into our, our OEMs. Uh, we're also looking at already seeding uh, end users with the technology so they can get a very fast ramp, uh, again, as we bring core microarchitecture into the four socket and greater space. The platform has been codenamed uh, Canelet. It includes the uh, microprocessor Tigerton, which is our first quad core microprocessor for the Xeon MP space. Um, we're very excited because we're bringing the core microarchitecture into this design uh, for energy efficient performance. Uh, we've delivered a balanced platform. We're moving to uh, fully buffered in memory. Uh, we're moving to four dedicated high speed interconnects uh, connecting these uh, four core processors. And what that means is, is uh, since the execution's gone really well, uh, we're actually going to be able now to double the performance of the previous generation of, of Xeon MP with nice headroom uh, going into the future uh, with, with future microprocessors that will plug directly into these sockets as well. So there will be investment protection as we move forward on this new uh, platform design as well. If you look at uh, from an energy efficiency perspective, uh, the processor will also deliver some, some brand new things to the industry. We're going to be able to uh, get down to a 50 watt uh, envelope on the microprocessor. It'll be the first time we've been able to do that in the industry. Um, that means we'll deliver up to two times the performance per watt of the previous generation as well. So uh, the execution engine's gone well, the performance looks good, and the energy efficiency looks good. Uh, what that means is we'll see uh, a brand new set of blade designs from some of the larger uh, OEMs in the world as four socket now becomes uh, more mainstream in, uh, in one of the fastest growing segments of the server market, blade computing. I think there was a huge amount of uh, pent up uh, interest when we originally introduced the core microarchitecture. And I think that many uh, enterprises were in kind of a wait and see mode if the energy efficient performance claims were, were true. And, and we obviously have shown uh, huge amounts of performance and the fastest ramp of Moore's Law uh, in the history of servers in, in 2006. And so what I'm hearing is that that same kind of anticipation is coming for the four socket space. Uh, we'll be delivering the quad core and core microarchitecture. People have seen what is, is happening uh, in the dual socket space with this momentum shift and, and uh, you know, very good progress with, with Intel in delivering uh, real customer value there. And we think that that same uh, customer value is going to now be delivered into the uh, four socket and greater space. 
Well, I think we uh, continue to execute on all cylinders. Uh, we've had a record ramp with the Woodcrest microprocessor, so the factories have been doing uh, a great job for us. We've had a, a fantastic quad-core ramp. We went out and said we'd ship a million quad-core server processors. Uh, really before our competition shipped one in the first half of, of 07. We successfully have done that. Uh, so we're seeing great adoption of energy efficient architectures like uh, the 5100 as well as great growth on quad core uh, systems like the Xeon 5300. And uh, we are really happy to report that the, uh, the next generation four socket system that we're talking about, Caneland, has really been the fastest design to production uh, of any four uh, core four, four socket system than we've uh, had in the history of, of Intel. So that uh, continues to go really well. Uh, even going into the Itanium space as we look to, uh, to Montvale, uh, that is also uh, on track and uh, we're looking forward to an announcement shortly. Well, I think one of the things that's especially in the four socket space that people want is, is a long-term uh, stable platform. And so um, just like we have uh, on uh, Xeon dual socket family and on Itanium, we're delivering multi-generational compatibility in the same platform. So you should expect in the 2008 platform, after we've announced uh, the, the uh, original Kalen platform and the, and the Xeon 7300 microprocessors on quad core uh, and the core microarchitecture, this platform will uh, seamlessly be able to drop in our next generation 45 nanometer uh, four socket products as well. So we're delivering investment protection uh, not only you know, for customers buying the processors today, but uh, enabling an upgrade path uh, in 2008 as well.